Good morning, Linux. Good morning, world. Hello, everyone. Welcome, all users, to technology. Welcome, Mac, Chromebooks, Windows, Linux, and whatever you use to make your life <laughs> better, worse, hopefully better. Good morning for this Sunday, June 24th. I am just finishing up some breakfast, and it's time for another Good Morning Linux, or in this case, I'm going to share with you a highlight from Friday night's live show. Uh, I've called it Good Morning Vegemite Linux, and it's for a reason, and I'll share with you, uh, I'll share that with you in a moment. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, let me get situated here. Have a drink of water. I had um, some sausage links, uh, some bread, and I think that's it. I'm going to try and keep my weight down uh, as much as I can. Hello, Robert. It is top of the morning. Yes. Yes, it is. How are you, Robert? Welcome to the live stream. Anything new with you? <clears throat> Let me go ahead and transition here. Okay, so once again, I'm streaming with uh, Ubuntu Mate Linux. Of course, you can do this with Windows if you want to. Um, running OBS Screencaster, as you see here. Uh, maybe I'll do a simple tutorial on how you guys can do this if you so wish to uh, screencast one day or night. Good morning, Daniel. How are you? Hope everything is well. So let's see. <clears throat> grabbing some notes here but um, anyway we'll give it a few minutes see who stops in for this morning and I'll share with you a highlight from Friday night's live show uh, it was very very <laughs> it was very entertaining for that portion of the show it, ha it really had nothing to do with Linux except for the common fact that there were Linux guys getting together and mail bonding as it were so the live show was uh, it was, it was fun. I mean, they all are, but this one was extra special, and I'll share it with you in a moment. Do a quick mic check. Is my mic okay? Test, test, looking good on my part. So let's go ahead and pop up the ticker, see if anything uh, catches my eye. And we'll go from there. These live streams, these live shows are only possible with your support. So if you haven't already, please do contribute to the channel if you can. You guys know that AdSense revenue pretty much nowadays it sucks. So it doesn't really do that much anymore. Anyway. Ah, Big Daddy let you on to sh let let you up kept you up let me on the show up until 10 a.m let me on oh it let you he, he let you on the show good 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 you went to bed at one uh daniel i went to bed i did a a chat last night i went to bed what did i go to bed at 11 30 12 so i didn't i went to bed a little bit earlier than you and i woke up in uh about an hour ago i got an email from uh, one of my friends who had to reply to him the mic works. Very good, Robert. Thank you. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes, and uh, then I'll share with you that highlight from um, Friday Night Show. <clears throat> I'm looking at the ticker feed. It looks like Tesla is having some problems about an alleged whistleblower. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, so... I just caught Big Daddy show, uh, Big Daddy links, just briefly for a few minutes. I was kind of tired myself last night, so. I think he's doing another one today, back to back. I think they record uh, Sunday to edit the uh, Destination Linux show uh, to be released, um, I think at the end of the week, if I remember the schedule. Oh, hang on, I just grab some, I drop some notes here, give me a second. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Um, I like Hello Kenny. It, it works good. It's not Manchero. <laughs> uh, yes, that's uh, that's Distro Tube's channel. He likes unstable stuff. Maybe I should just call it Demented Tube. <laughs> just kidding. DT's a cool guy. Um, I don't use man. I don't use rolling releases. It's you just never know what to expect, and you know I don't. You know, I, I don't have the patience anymore to mess around with distro hopping and solving puzzles. I mean, if someone has a tech question, obviously I'll do my best to help that person, obviously. Um, you know, but, you know, right now I don't have the time to test and solve and test and solve. I got to keep this channel going. So my focus is in other areas, areas, you know. <sighs> such as funding and doing what I can to keep this going another eight years. Thank you. Lamer Linux is in Canada. Welcome from Canada. I have relatives in Montreal. Do you live in Montreal, Lamer? Hello, Narwas. How are you? It's been a while since I've been to Canada. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mute my phone here, put it on vibrate. Let some other people mosey on in. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like the stream looks good on my end. I'll give it another minute and uh, we'll play the highlight. Looks like we still have thunderstorms coming in today. Well, I'll never get my grass cut if it keeps up like this. I need like a like a uh, um, self-propelled, not self-propelled. I need like a, a a drone lawnmower. You know, automatic lawnmower that cuts by itself. You know, that's remote controlled. So if it rains, I don't care. You know, that's what I need. Narwas, you installed Manjaro on your home laptop. Uh, okay, Norris, you can get a very good uh, cheap supply of Tylenol. Just use my Amazon link below if you need any help with your headaches. <laughs> uh, Destination Linux is live sometime today, 9 a.m. and sometime, oh, 9 a.m., really? Well, yeah, because I think it's 12 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, I think. <laughs> oh, you live in New York, you're with, but with your family, going to New York for the first time. You're going to New York tomorrow. Oh, forget about it. You'll have a good time. Nice. Let me know how the New York trip works out for you. Take some photos. Share it with us, Lamer. Yeah, if you don't mind. Excellent. Excellent. New York. It's been a while since I've been there. Robert was up until 3 a.m. putting up a gazebo. 3 a.m. in the morning. Well, if you're going to be up till 3 a.m., putting up a gazebo is an excellent reason to stay up. Till 3 a.m., you lucky dog, you. Ah. Marwas, you prefer Debian. Uh, Debian stable, I hope, and not Debian unstable. All right, what do you think? Shall we get started with the highlight reel, or should we wait another minute or so, let some other people join in? It's your call, guys. This is your show for Good Morning Vegemite Linux. <laughs> uh, Manjaro rules, but I I am like... You know what I should do? I should just be sneaky and say, recommend Manjaro for all newbies, all of all my... Almost 10,000 watchers on the channel. Recommend Manjaro, Arch, Gentoo for Linux newbies. And when they all get headaches, 
I should post an Amazon affiliate, um, you know, an Amazon affiliate link for Tylenol. That way, I can get a big bump in commission, so I can upgrade my office. See, but no, I gotta have a conscience. <laughs> anyway. I tried Manjaro a couple years ago, which just it just wasn't for me. You did a live stream of Niagara Falls yesterday. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I've never been there. I mean I've traveled a lot in my in my years, but I've never yeah, I've never been there. Not to Niagara. The ticker says eight eight months after a surge of complaints, Apple announces a report pair program for its flawed MacBooks. Uh-oh. And MacBook Pros? What happened? Uh, let's see. At long last, Apple admitted to its customers that its MacBook, MacBook Pro keyboard designs are flawed. Really? How do you bleep up a keyboard? Wow. The company has been hit with three class action lawsuits. Wow. Uh, while the repair replacement program covers cost and notes that Apple will repair both single keys as well as whole keyboards when necessary doesn't note whether the replacements will be a different improved design that will prevent the problem what ha happening again now let's let's replace it with the same defective keyboard why not Wow well considering how much they charge for their products I believe I think Apple will do the right thing yeah I think they will do the right thing. I mean, I don't have Apple products. My friends that do trust them. Um, wow, of all the things, I mean, these are like $2,000 machines and they messed up a keyboard. Of all the things to go bad was a keyboard. I mean, I can see if it was a bad SSD or, you know, bad RAM, I can see that. But a keyboard, that's funny. Well, not funny to the customers, but anyway. You're going to do a live stream today on the boat to Niagara Falls. All right, I'll have to check it out today, Lamer Linux. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to mute my mic. Let's go ahead and play a highlight of the live stream. This is from Friday night. Thank Toss, it's Friday. It's myself. Uh, uh, Tim from Minnesota. We have uh, DT, DistroTube, and Colin uh, from Australia. And the fact that Colin is from Australia uh, makes sense that we talk about this topic of Vegemite among Linux users. So are we ready? All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, volume is all the way up. Okay, let's play it. I'm going to mute my mic and enjoy it. And, and did she get to try any Marmite while she was there? Uh, I don't know, actually. I haven't spoken to her since she got back, but she lives on the other side of Australia. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll have to message her and see if she did try it, actually, because mm -hmm. uh, most of us Aussies don't like Marmite, and yeah. most English don't like uh, Vegemite. Vegemite, yeah. Mm -hmm. We love our Vegemite, but uh, Marmite tastes so much different, and we're not brought up with it. It's like it tastes yuck to us. So it's you know, an acquired taste. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. You gotta be, you gotta be brought up with it, really, to uh, be honest. Yeah. Okay, I'm lost. What, what the hell is Vegemite? Vegemite, Vegemite and Marmite. Well, I'll let Colin explain since he's the Aussie. <laughs> Vegemite's the Aussie version of Marmite, and Marmite's the English version of Vegemite. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm not, man. Do I feel that much smarter? <laughs> what, 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 what are, what are, what are these things? They're, they're some type of a. It's this foul tasting uh, sandwich spread. Is, is what well, I, know. I know. <laughs> from what I believe, Vegemite is is a yeast extract. So yeah. it, it it could be a byproduct of when you make beer or, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it comes from it comes from yeast. So it's meant to be good for your brain. Yet, yeah, although I've you know yet to see any improvement of myself but <laughs> it's meant to it's be good, good for, for your brain really colin yeah. yes yeah but is. wait 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 your brain's <laughs> up here not down here man what are you talking about 
<laughs> to me, this stuff sounds like it's a good way to get a stomach ache. Uh, well, you know what? Toss can, can put a link to his Amazon in the chat, and we can all order some Vegemite there you go, from Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> and, then I'll, and then I'll lose all my friends. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh says, uh, which company is worse at data collection, Microsoft, Mozilla, or Canonical? By far, I would say Microsoft. Microsoft. This is not even Right close. now, yeah. Wow. Right, yeah. I mean, you got two companies that basically do a lot of free and open source stuff, and then you got Microsoft. I mean, yeah. Before Windows even... 10, maybe Mozilla, but <laughs> since Windows 10, Microsoft <laughs> is the champion. Yeah, I wouldn't even you know, lump the other two companies. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. Microsoft. yeah. Okay, yeah. I can't get off this Miramite thing. <laughs> Marmite? <laughs> Terry, Miramite? Terry, yeah. Terry, Terry loved this game. Terry loved this game. It's Marmite. Yeah, yeah they, they're yeast Marmite. extract. That, that, Mar that's, but, but they're black. It's, it's very black. I think so, Miramite is what kills Superman. Miramite? Oh, not, that, that's Kryptonite. Never mind. The other night when we were discussing it on a Big Daddy's podcast, one guy said he, uh, Marmite tasted like spoiled peanut butter. Another guy said it tasted like hot tar. <laughs> you know, oh my god. <laughs> It sounds uh, to me like it's black. It's black mayonnaise that was left out in the sun. Uh, long. Uh, <laughs> what you do, Tim, is you cook some you cook some bread in the toaster. Yeah, yeah. toast some bread. Yeah. Put a bit of butter on it, and then you put a yeah. bit of Vegemite. You don't have to put too much, and then um, you probably won't like it because you weren't brought and up. Then you eat a couple fiber ever... bars, and you're good to go for that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I go in the bathroom, and I immediately yeah. vomit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, first you, you could, vomit, uh, then you release the. Uh, you could skip yeah. the toast. You, you you just get a spoon and get the jar and. Just, right, oh yeah. no, no, don't do that. Oh, oh. boy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but just for your information, FYI, Kraft actually owned Vegemite for quite a while, but I now uh, believe it's back. It's back on Australian borders again. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, Kraft is well, craft. in America. Kraft, Kraft. Kraft. Kraft, Kraft must have been sick of all of the uh, all, all of the wrongful death complaints. <laughs> Jeez. Full vitamin B complex, Terry, and I, I think I have better ways of grabbing my B complex. Mm -hmm. yeah, Terry, I'll, I'll just, you. you know what, I'll Terry? I'll just take a Flintstones vitamin. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my Flintstone vitamins. I'm good with the vitamin da, 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 da. I don't. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't somebody in the chat to... mentioned Vegemite was mentioned in a very popular song back in the '80s. The Aussie band Men at Work mentioned Vegemite, and uh, yeah, where correct. was that? Do you down come under, from a land down under? Yeah, yeah. They gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Yeah, Do you yeah. come from? <laughs> mm. So yeah. that's why they only had one hit record. Uh, yeah. But the problem is, after they ate the sandwich, then their song "Do You Crap Like a Man Down Under." No, <laughs> no, they had a couple. They had a couple of hits uh, here in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Who so, can uh, it be? Uh, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. Trump men at work. Yeah, 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 yeah they were work. good. Yeah. She just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you come? Do you crap from a land? Do you crap from a land down crap. under? Wow! <laughs> oh God! YouTube, please don't demonetize me. You know, I came, I came, I came up short this month, and my AdSense have to cover my con. Don't, don't do it again, please. Matter of fact, I mean, you just got fun. You didn't just get demonetized. I know. If they want, they want money back from three other videos. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, Yugi says, have... "Wow, yeah, yeah." We got sidetracked okay, a little bit uh, <laughs> on this Marmite. Yeah, that was Tim's. My... Yeah. That was Tim's fault. <laughs> yeah, it was my fault. Still... He can't get over it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to Google Mar Marmite and Vegemite. I'm gonna. That's. I'm gonna have. To... Where the, the hell guys... is it? I gotta write this down. You know and what? I'll guys... take the challenge with all of you guys. I'll order some from Amazon right now. The rest of you guys, we'll meet back in a week and discuss our experience. Yeah, but we'll all come back like, uh, toss, uh, oh, 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 Everybody's going to be asking if Derek's having video issues. It's because he looks green. <laughs> yeah. no, it'll be from the fog, the screen, you know. <laughs> are you linking this to the um, to that story that you had during the week, Toss, are you? Which, oh, which one? Which oh, what? Was, I don't know, the bowel one. What was the bowel one? Oh, the <laughs> super bowel <laughs> party, yeah. Super bowel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> South Methodist Church will have, be having a, this Sunday night, a super bowel party. <laughs> a super bowel party. 
That's in the yeah. mega bathroom. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right. Oh, God. I can imagine a person going to confession at Catholic Church. Bless me, for, oh, excuse me, did I have sinned? Isn't, the, isn't there an old saying that when when somebody says that that isn't going to go over too good, isn't there an old, old saying that that's going to go over as good as a part in church? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, well, supposedly that that bodily function is actually good for you. I've read somewhere in one of the news and nonsense that people gas at least fourteen to fifteen times a day. Hey, it's is, good is for you. What? It's not good for the people next. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> After my dinner tonight, it's going to be going to be fourteen or fifteen times every eight minutes. <laughs> you know, someone someone should do an experiment, like a person who loves animals, like a person who has two or three dogs, have the dogs cuddle with him <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> He lets one rip. And just what? See what the dogs do. They just one by one just get up and walk away like a few, you know. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, anyway, that's what you've been missing Friday nights. Uh, gaseous comments. Uh, <laughs> Robert says, uh, ha, Toss, funny you have my vote. Well, thank you. Next time I run for office, I will run on a platform of Vegemite. <laughs> anyway, you guys may have, uh, if, you ha if you guys haven't already, uh, you may want to check the latest Ubuntu blog. They posted um, their report on the new uh, Ubuntu telemetry and they posted their results on what they have found so far. Some of it is interesting, uh, some of it not that unusual. Uh, I did notice that uh, some users were using a single core with one gig of RAM to try Ubuntu. Uh, hmm, don't know about that. That sounds like a virtual machine stuff to me. Hello, Keegan. The Super Bowel Party started as a chili cook-off, but someone put some laxative in the pots and turned it into a chili shoot it. Ah, of course, Keegan, what was I thinking? <laughs> yes. You know, it makes me wonder just how many people have their Super Bowl par party turn, in turn into a Super Bowel Party. It just makes me wonder, you know, guys don't want to admit it, or girls. Oh, interesting graphic. Firefox is back. It's time to give it a try. What's so special? Another high full pile endorsement for Firefox. This time from the lead consumer technology right from the New York Times. The web has reached a new low. Okay, it has become an annoying, often toxic, and occasionally unsafe place to hang out. Well, not here. Not with me. Just come on and down and chat with Master Toss. Uh, you give up your privacy online. Uh, let's see. Mozilla employees discussing the state of the web, browsers. Eventually, they, they concluded there was a crisis of confidence in the web. Ha, ah, really? They don't trust the web. They won't use the web. Mozilla's chief product officer sent an interview. After testing Firefox for the last three months, I found it to be on par with Chrome in most categories. In the end, Firefox's thoughtful privacy features... <laughs> <laughs> Firefox. After testing Firefox for the last three months, I found it to be on par with Chrome in most categories. In the end, Firefox's thoughtful privacy features pers persuaded me to make the switch and make it my privacy browser. Uh, so Chrome and Firefox share the same privacy features. Yeah, boy. Or, or Firefox is more privacy. This is why people don't trust the web. I don't care what web browser you use. Once you get on the line on the web, you have to be careful. There is no privacy on the web. You know, and the, the sooner people realize that, the more careful they'll be. Hopefully, you know, just a thought, just a thought. Just my two cents. Hello, Zanaris. Yeah, it's been a while. Welcome, Z. How are you? Welcome to this Good Morning Linux. You just missed it. This, uh, I just We played a highlight from Friday night's show. I call it this one, Good Morning Vegemite Linux. But you can play it back. I think you'll like it. 
Let's see. George Lucas's terrible idea for Star Wars Episode 7 and 9. Hmm. Uh, in an interview with James Cameron, Lucas reveals the final three Star Wars films. The next three films we're going to get into a microbiotic world. There's this world of creatures that operate differently than we do. I call them the wills. Hmm. Interesting. Had Lucas kept his company, the Wills focus films would have been done. Of course, a lot of fans would have hated it, just like they did The Phantom Menace. Oh well. The Sable Pocket in Firefox, it collects data. All right, Kenny, there's a little tip there. I use uh, certain extensions. Um, I use uh, uBlock Origin. I have it disabled on YouTube to help other YouTubers with that sense. Uh, I use HTTPS Everywhere. Uh, I use uh, maybe one night we'll talk about extensions. But I use Privacy Badger. Um, I think one more. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, once you get on the web. And privacy, huh, forget about it. Just my personal two cents on that, so. India has a new monster 100 gigawatt solar capacity goal. Okay, I guess that's good. Clive Joe, making us all Vegemite sandwiches. Well, you can use the Amazon link below to order Vegemite if you, if you want to. I'm not making anybody sandwiches, especially Vegemite. Supposedly, it's good for you. According to Colin, for Friday Night Show, it's good for your brain. Okay, you can try it out. Let me know if you feel smarter <laughs> after eating Vegemite. Robert, you have to go. All right, sir, thank you for stopping by. Always a pleasure chatting with all of you. I will catch you on the next one. Take care, Robert. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 blog. Uh, let's go to Ubuntu. La, da, do, 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 do. Anybody try Peppermint 9? I have not tried it yet. So. Yeah, two thirds of users, you allowed data collection. Um, I believe it's blog. Let's go to the blog.ubuntu.com, I think. Scroll down, uh, blog.ubuntu.com. First look at desktop metrics. You get a more detailed look at this. I posted a video on this yesterday. Um, it's it's kind of interesting. Um, Opt-in rate was 67%. I thought that was a little high, surprising, but maybe Ubuntu users don't care. I don't know. Average install Ubuntu was 18 minutes. That seems a little high. Although some machines took eight minutes. Okay. Install our options. Most people download updates. Very few people install the add-ons, which is unusual. 28% auto login. Of course, if you're in a virtual box, you don't really care. CPU count, one CPU. I would not use Ubuntu with one CPU, but that's just me. Uh, this partitioning schemes. Uh, hello, TS, TS Texture. Hello. You've tried PET9. Takes some getting used to. Settings weren't where I expected them to be. Oh, okay. I haven't taken a look at it. Interesting. Welcome to the stream. Now this here, this what this tells me here, over half did a fully race, I guess, an install. Manual, 21%. Only 7% or so 
they would install alongside, meaning a dual boot, which means a lot of Windows users probably don't like this. Uh, that's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, of course, if you're doing a virtual machine, that skews the numbers. Uh, I don't know. Uh, was the install time in the original spec for telemetry? I don't know. I'm just reading what I see here. So, uh, yeah, you can see what did they say? As long as 18 minutes, I guess, or average as little as eight minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the CPU, one CPU, this partitioning schemes. Yeah, it's not counting cores, yeah. Display, 1080p is the most popular, followed by 1366, seven, that's what I use, or 1360, I think, 768. Uh, 4K, high DPI are not commonplace, okay. A few people using multiple graphics cards, such as gaming. A single monitor was most common, RAM, Four and eight gig. Some people used one gig. <laughs> That's impossible. But hey, what do I know? It says here 128 gig of RAM putting in an appearance. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I would say 128 gigabyte of RAM and Ubuntu should be enough. It should. You know, it's kind of borderline. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, four gig is where you need to be minimum. Uh, right here for a gig to try out um, and Ubuntu is used all over the world as well it should be um, and that's the report for now so yep 4 and 8 gig the most popular you did a fresh install of KDE Neon ah this week's challenge okay why title opt-in rate when it is actually opt-out? Oh. Well, I guess if you opt in, you, you can go back and then opt out. You have a choice, right? You're not locked into that decision. So anyway. But 67% surprised me a little bit. Um. I thought it would have been, well, I thought it would have been less. <laughs> yeah, Clive said, yeah, no would max out 128 gigs. Yes, that would pretty much uh, blow away Windows usage of uh, RAM. Uh, with Windows, I could get away with uh, two gigs of RAM. Can't do much. Uh, but two gigs of RAM Ubuntu, no, I don't think I could do it. I think it would lock up. I hate to say that, but Windows 10 feels a little faster than Ubuntu. Um, four gigs is painfully slow window. Really, Kenny? Not for me. No, it's it moves along uh, nicely. I can't do a lot. Grant, but four gigs. Of course, I I you know with Windows 10, I've kind of customized it in a way uh, to make it run a little faster. I've tweaked it in the settings to make Windows 10 run a little faster. Um, but yeah, but four gigs uh, in Windows 10 should be sufficient. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do a heavy heavy graphics or anything or a heavy or gaming. Uh, but for me, Kenny, if, four, if you have Windows 10, uh, I mean, a machine that originally came with Windows 10 and four gigs of RAM and it's running slow, you have something else going on, Kennedy. Uh, Kenny, yeah, you got something else. Maybe spyware, some other stuff. Uh, maybe needs a tune-up. But if it's running painfully slow with four gigs, you have a problem, in my opinion. All right, so that's off the um, the blog, uh, the latest Ubuntu podcast. Um, I had a uh, Alan Pope drop in yesterday. Um, we were talking about ThinkPads, and uh, 
He says he stopped buying ThinkPads. He has like a whole warehouse full of ThinkPads. Uh, you know, <laughs> look at that, this wallpaper. The Ubuntu podcast team, they come up with the strangest thumbnails. You know, <laughs> don't ask me why. Um, let's see. Bitcoin has lost more than half its value since last year's all-time high. Uh, Ubuntu Touch. RCOTA4 is here. Chromium as a snap using Mir. Okay, some other stuff. Yeah, check out the Ubuntu podcast. They're nice. About a half hour long, just right. Hello, Poison X. Sounds like a Linux distro. Check out the new Poison X. Good afternoon, good morning. With Firefox, it uses two gigs. That seems high. Um, yeah. Pillars of Eternity. Anyway, check out the latest Ubuntu podcast, ubuntupodcast.org. Uh, another one I listen to is Mintcast. This one's long, though. These podcasts are a little long. Can't say it's for beginners. Uh, they talk about true OS. Um, anyway, mintcast.org. Uh, three, you are what six hours ahead? Are you in Europe? Uh, PX, yeah, I probably would. It probably uh, would use less RAM with Chrome, Kenny. Yes, mm -hmm. All right, anyway, you can also check out mincast.org. Um, catch up on the latest Linux news. Okay, we're going to probably wrap this up here in, uh, in 10 minutes. Uh, let's see, real quick here. I would say the UK PX, GMT time zone, okay. Linux foo. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, let's click Linux foo. The great power of make. Let's uh, clean this up a bit. Linux foo. Over the years, Linux has become more complicated than its Unix roots. Hmm. That's inevitable, of course. Uh, a good example is how this is how software is typically built on a Linux system. Um, hmm. The simplest make file. Okay, looks like we got some terminal commands. Hmm. Stupid make tricks. Uh, I, th I thought it was a different article. Anyway, or a different type of article. It's really hot over the pond today. How hot is it? Right now it is 73 degrees. Uh, not too bad. It still feels humid though. Uh, let's see what else we have here. How to install Linux apps on Linux with Winepack? No, thank you. If you have to use Linux apps, use Linux. Or, you know, and if you have to use Windows apps, use Windows. Right? <laughs> let's go to Peppermint OS. All 
right, Peppermint 9 has been released. Some highlights. Taking a quick look here. XFC panel switch utility is now installed by default. You can backup, restore any custom panel. Okay. Uh, Peppermint 9 has both our normal Mint install software center and GNOME software for users that want snaps, flat packs. Cool. bunch of other stuff here okay, I'll, I'll have to check it out uh, Peppermint OS founded in 2010 wow it's been eight years already wow HTOP is installed out of the box anyway check out the latest Peppermint OS <laughs> that's really sticky yeah when it gets humid it uh, I know man. I used to live in Florida so yeah, I know what it's like. The Pep Team has a very nice beginner friendly user guide. If you are new to this, definitely check it out. Six chapters, download, install, intro, customizing, installing software, site-specific browsers, additional reading and resources. Very good. Yeah, lots of good information here. So check out Peppermint OS install. All right, I'll give it a few more minutes and we'll wrap this up. Microsoft might have another DC outage. Uh-oh. Ah, but I feel like going to the pool today. It looks like rain. Anyway, once again, if you joined in late, you can replay this uh, from the beginning and you can catch up on our little discussion about Vegemite, <laughs> which... I guess that's uh, Australia's way across the pond. Uh, PX, I am using uh, Peppermint 8 in my old Windows XP ThinkPad with 768 megabytes of RAM. And I was able to live stream, believe it or not. Not recommended, of course, but that's how great Linux can be. Yeah. Yep, Peppermint is excellent for beginners. That, that has to be my top 10 list for beginners, along with Ubuntu Mate and some others. Linux Lite. All right, anything else? Because I'm just about done here. Peppermint 8 is faster than 9, really? Wow. Kenny has a full install test. That's how you could tell. Um, hmm. Okay. Hello, Din. How are you? Welcome. Scott, yes, yes, I started this at a little bit, about, about an hour ago, so yeah, I'm just about ready to wrap this up, it's almost 11, so um, I need to see if I can finish cutting my grass before it rains, or maybe not, I don't know, but yeah, you can just re re replay this, of course.
Wow, even on an SSD, Peppermint 9 is slower than Peppermint 8. That is interesting. Hmm. No more switching distros for Scott. Good for you. You wised up. <laughs> uh, Peppermint is based on uh, yeah, 18.04 base. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can catch Biddle here at I think noon, one o'clock, something like that. Um, yeah, Sunday is a good day for Linux. Linux watching, right? I don't know if it rains today. I may, I may come on again later, you know, unless it's something good to watch on TV. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I really do need to finish cutting grass, but get my exercise. All right, last call for comments. I'm going to wrap this up. Again, thank you for watching and listening to this Total OS Today technology channel. Thank you for over eight years of this channel. Um, it's been an amazing ride, amazing journey. I hope to be here for another eight years or more. Who knows? So thank you. Check out the links below if you haven't already. Joe Panico is in the house. My wonderful co-host, Joey. Happy Sunday, Joe. What's up, man? Joe, you're coming in at, at the end again. But I might be on later, so you can join me later. We shall see. See how the weather goes today. Uh, Linux Mint 19 beta is been, has been terrific. <laughs> the Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> Boy, that conversation went off the rails Friday, but it was so enjoyable. So I guess I guess the the thing for that conversation is what you can take if you have any problems going to the bathroom, yeah, try some Vegemite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the time uh, Biddle starts at twelve o'clock, it'll be late for you. I know, I know. Ah, late night gaming after Biddle. Okay, excellent. I went to bed. I did play some Tux Cart last night live. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Always enjoy a little, some Super Tux Cart before going to bed. I feel more relaxed. <laughs> Not really, I just was tired last night. All right, anything else? Steve Gunnick, hello, hello. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to say adios for this one. And uh, maybe I'll catch you guys later. So as always, thank you for stopping by. Always a pleasure. Uh, Popey stayed up. Wow, he's in the UK. I guess he had troubles... Uh, he had trouble sleeping. Um, hmm. Ah, well, yes, we'll have to do an online match with Super Tux Cart. Hello, Chris. How are you? Yes, with Tux Cart. It is fun. It, yeah. I like swatting the other drivers, you know, swatting them on the head. As I told you not to text and drive. Swat, swat. Stop texting, swat. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. It makes me laugh. I, I wish I could do that in real life with the long fly swatter. Say, hey, 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 you don't text. Uh, did you miss the sermon? <laughs> yes. Uh, la la la. Let us pray. La. You missed the veggie my Linux sermon from uh, that I played when I started the stream. Anyway, just replay the stream. I, I think I started it five or ten minutes after I started talking, but I think you'll enjoy that veggie my Linux conversation. Uh, last night, no, it was uh, I used um, Kenny. I used OBS last night with the game instead of um, uh, Google Hangouts. There's a lot of factors with streaming. Uh, obviously, how you're streaming, what software, the speed of the internet. I, do, I don't have the highest speed Comcast or top of the line. Uh, I don't have the budget for that now, but that would probably help out a lot. Also, having a gaming computer would help. Uh, but uh, when I'm ready to get one, I think that will be my next investment for the uh, channel. Daniel says, count me in. All right. 
Polish up your fly swatters. We're going to be swatting some Linux users. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you on the next one. So everybody in the stream watching, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you uh, maybe later on today or tonight. I don't know. We'll see what the weather tells me to do. All right, I'm done. Ciao.